What up, Meal Prepping Nation? It's Bobby, and you guys have been asking for straight up, easy, no mess meal prep, so you know I'm gonna take care of you. Today, we're making three awesome microwave meal prep recipes, five minutes or less. All the work is done on my buddy, the microwave, and it's epic, because we are making a mug Denver omelet, loaded with ham, cheese, red peppers, and silky custardy eggs. Brown rice, fried rice loaded with vegetables, a soy egg, and cooked in just a few minutes, and a chocolate brownie, the ultimate dessert when you want something really quick and really good in your belly. So if you like flavor and you like exciting, creative meal preps, you best subscribe to my channel. I've got new meal preps every Friday hooking you up. To make our mug Denver omelet, I'm gonna take the lid off of a mason jar. You could use a mug that you use for coffee, but I just think mason jars are so darn cute. Plus they're great for portable on the go meals. Let's crack two eggs into the mason jar. Now grab a fork and just beat this up for about 30 seconds. And you wanna beat as much air in there as possible because the more air we beat in now, the lighter, creamier, and silkier the eggs are gonna be later on. That looks good. Now it's literally just a matter of dumping our Denver omelet ingredients into the mason jar. I'm gonna start with two tablespoons of whole milk. You could also use skim. About a tablespoon of red peppers that have been finely diced. A tablespoon of low-fat shredded cheese. A tablespoon of chives. And a tablespoon of ham that's been finely diced. And then give it one more really good mix up. Let's pop this guy in the microwave for 45 seconds. All right, now check it out. After 45 seconds, see how the eggs are kind of semi-formed or have large curds in there? This is the time you wanna take your fork and stir and break up those curds and make them as small as possible. If you guys watched my breakfast meal prep, you know the smaller the curds are, the silkier and the creamier the eggs are gonna be. So if I just left this in there for like a minute and a half or two minutes to cook, it'll be cooked through, but it's gonna be really large curds that are rubbery and hard. So doing this is the key to making it creamy. Let's pop it back in the microwave for another 45 to 60 seconds. All right, that took 60 seconds more exactly and it literally wants to jump out of the mug here. Look at that. It rises like a phoenix from the ashes. Those chives on top look so good and it's cooked through perfectly. But make sure you use a mitt when you grab these guys from the microwave because they are piping hot. Let's make two more of these and that'll get me set up for three days of meal prep. My other two mug Denver omelets are ready and I'm only making three of these today because you can only keep cooked eggs in the fridge for three days. So after three days, you can make another batch. I think I'm gonna try a little bite of this one right here. Oh, it's actually really good. You guys, for a Denver omelet in a mug, that is damn good. The eggs are really creamy and silky because we beat them up halfway through. For a quick brekkie to go, slap the lid on, take that to work, made in the shade. Next up, we're making brown rice fried rice. Now you could do it the old school way and boil your own brown rice that takes 45 minutes, or you can stick in the microwave theme and buy the microwaved brown rice or the frozen pre-cooked brown rice. This stuff is par-cooked about 90% of the way, so it makes your life that much easier. I'm gonna add about a cup to a mason jar here. Now you could also do this with day-old white rice or even quinoa. If you remember a few weeks ago, we did quinoa fried rice. That would be even more healthy and awesome for this recipe. I like to load my fried rice with tons of veggies. So I'm gonna grab one tablespoon each of yellow peppers and diced carrots. Make sure you dice the carrots really finely. And then one tablespoon each of frozen peas and green onions that have been sliced. And just because we're cooking in the microwave doesn't mean we can skip out on seasoning this bad boy. So reach for about a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt and pinch that in. And then somehow fit my black pepper mill in there and crack in a few grinds. Now before we pop this guy in the microwave, I'm gonna reach for some plastic wrap because you want the vegetables to cook all the way through and then to prevent a Fukushima-like explosion in the old microwave, take a fork and just pierce the top of the plastic wrap. Let's pop this guy in the microwave for one minute. All right, after one minute, the vegetables are cooked, but I'm actually gonna push that to the side and we're gonna get started on our soy egg because if you see my other quinoa fried rice video, you know that I love a ton of rich scrambled eggs marbled all throughout my fried rice. So in front of me, I have one egg. To that, I'm gonna add two teaspoons of low sodium soy sauce one teaspoon of sriracha or hot sauce, 
half a teaspoon of toasted sesame oil for a nice nutty flavor. And then if you want, you could use ginger powder, but I'm gonna expand a little bit of the work for the microwave mug recipe and take fresh ginger. And then you guys know what I like to do. I like to take my microplane grater and then grate it on there. And the beauty of doing that is that all the tough fibers of the ginger stay on top. And on the bottom, all the grated pulp comes through nice and easily. And just add it to the bowl. And just whisk this guy up. And then grab the mason jar and pour the soy egg mixture down over the rice. Give it a good mix up. Make sure to cover it back up. And then we'll pop this guy back in the microwave for another minute and a half. All right, this is looking pretty good. Let's peel back the top. Be super careful because the vapors inside there are piping hot. And then give it a mix up and make sure you distribute that egg evenly from top to bottom. And check that out, you guys. Perfectly cooked. Those eggs are running all throughout there. The vegetables look perfect. It's actually really good. You guys, this is so close to my legit brown rice fried rice recipe. The egg is nice and creamy. I love the nutty chewiness of brown rice. The vegetables are cooked through perfectly. Let's make two more of these guys because just like the first recipe, they have cooked eggs and they only can stay in the fridge for three days. All three mug fried rices are done. And once again, I stress to you, whether you're using mason jars or coffee mugs, use an oven mitt because when they come out of the oven, they are piping hot. The only thing we have left to do is make my favorite dessert ever, chocolate mug brownies. They are downright legit. To start the mug brownie, I'm gonna add three tablespoons of all-purpose flour to my jar here, then three tablespoons of cocoa powder, and then three tablespoons of light brown sugar. Instead of using butter for this recipe, I'm gonna use coconut oil. It's a much healthier fat, but you can also use veggie oil, avocado oil, or grapeseed oil. They're all good. Go ahead and add two tablespoons and then follow that with three tablespoons of milk, whole or skim. And because chocolate and coffee are BFF, a half a teaspoon of espresso powder is gonna be so good and actually enhance the chocolate flavor even more. Then a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And because I'm on Team Crunch, I always like to add a little bit of toasted and chopped walnuts. It adds a nice nutty flavor and I'm a Crunchaholic, so a tablespoon are going in. And then finally, about a quarter teaspoon of salt to help balance out the sweetness. And then carefully give this a mix up and make sure everything is thoroughly combined. So like I said earlier, you can obviously do these in a coffee mug, but the cool thing about doing them in the mason jars and then slapping on the lid later on is these guys are portable. So not only work or school, but imagine sneaking these into the old movie theater and having the best dessert ever while watching a movie. Been there, done that, it's awesome. All right, now this guy goes in the microwave for two minutes. All right, you guys, two minutes later, this brownie is done and looking pretty money. Look at that. It rose a little bit. It's looking nice and fluffy. I like what I see. Possibly the only thing that can make this even better is spanking over a little bit of powdered sugar. You guys, I'm a self-proclaimed brownie aficionado and these are awesome. Fudgy, chocolatey, a little hint of the espresso. Walnuts are popping in my brain. All we have to do are bake two more that I filled up here and we're done. Well, that's it, you guys. I don't use the microwave that often, but when I do, I am gonna rock out serious microwave mug meal prep like this. Now, when it comes to storage, you can put all of these in the fridge for three days or they will last in the freezer two to three months. If you want the recipes, they are below in the description box. When you make this or any one of my meal prep recipes, Put a picture on social media and tag me because I love seeing all the awesome things you make. Share this video, subscribe to my channel, and if you want to see two more awesome meal preps, you know I'm going to hook you up right below me, but I'll see you next week. Until then, keep on cooking.